Um, going to do tests now with the Eco Led Zep One. This is the new generation version, the 2014 model, which is um, shallower than the older versions and comes with a loop in, loop out LED driver. So I will test this now with the Lightwave RF mains dimmer. So I'll start as that's totally silent. That's dimmed down now to thirty percent. I'll now swap over to the Lightwave RF wireless dimmer switch. Slight flicker on that, that is on the setting number one. And a slight flash, I'm doing it down to the low setting. So let's try adjusting the setting on the receiver, see if that fixes it, which it normally does. We're now going to test it with the Lutron Graphic Eye. With the Eco Led Zep One, turn it right down. It's flicker free so far. Just a very, very slight flicker. Just uh, this up to twenty percent. Just a slight flicker at around ten percent there. Um, what you can do on the graphic eye though is you can trim off that 10% going in oops. going into the advanced programming settings Trimming off the low end. Set that to fifteen percent. Something like that. Now let's see if that removes any flickering. It's now showing it down to two percent. Without any flicker. That solved the issue. Although the dimming range has been reduced slightly. Now I'm going to swap over the graphic eye for the loops from around here. That's at its lowest 
setting that we've got it to there. Just increase that to 100%. So it's dimming them down to around 50% there without any adjustments of the programming settings. And then there's no flicker and no buzz. Uh, we're now swapping over the Lutra Marani for the Very Light V Pro. There's a slight flicker on the lights down the bottom end. No buzzing at the moment though, so let's just see if we can fix that in the uh, settings. <laughs> I've now adjusted the minimum brightness on the VPro dimmer switch and it's removed the flicker from the LEDs. It's also reduced the dimming range slightly. Um, it dims down to about 25%. Which is uh, acceptable for me. Operating totally silent as well.